Welcome back to Swimming in the Deep. Today we're going to talk about this automated actuator. These are common across tons of pools. This particular one is a Pentair brand and it's labeled Compool. So maybe it was sold under Compool or Pentair. And there's other valves that are similar that I've come across online. The uh, model number is CVA24. 24 means 24 volts, I would guess. And a common thing for the, this to occur is, you know, they get turned on and off depending on what mode they need to be in. This particular one's for the drain. So in this case, my spa drain is off. And when it turns 180 degrees, my main drains would be off. And by doing that, you can switch between the spa drains and the pool drains. So that's how the pool knows which mode to be in. And similar, similarly, on the pool return, the water coming back to the pool or spa, you'll have a configuration like this too when it's shared plumbing. I've started to take this one apart. I'll tell you why in a moment. The overflow to spa, which means in my case, because this is a flow over, is the returns to the spa and then my returns to the pool are here so if I've got this in the on mode for the overflow of the spa and my drain over here is on for the spa it'll go in a circle but if I've got this in the on mode and the drains over here uh, to the spa closed it'll spill over into the pool so <clears throat> what happens is that these valves can get stuck and a lot of times it is the micro switch that hits the limit and then comes back and switches the other way. There's a switch on the back of them as you know if you have these that you can manually tune those but then once they're in the right direction you leave them alone and then the button up there <clears throat> that says mode that that second button uh, from the left right up there says mode when you hit it and they're in the right order it'll switch it from spa to pool so mine is stuck right now and this has happened to me before and if this happens to you it's likely the micro switch could be the little gearbox motor stripped out inside but that's not happened to me yet in uh, six years of having this pool this problem has happened so you take this handle off by unscrewing it remember which way this was it was pointing that way in my case I'm gonna lay it on the ground facing that same direction so I remember and then you take these four screws off here, 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 and here. And there's Phillips head. And then you wiggle it till it comes up off that shaft right there. And we'll lay that aside. And now we have the micro switches in here that send it one way and then the other. So if you look right here really closely, you'll see that this micro switch and there's the act, the 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 thing the thing that act, act, actuates the uh, micro switch. In this case, mine is orange. If you can see it, that little dot right there. And I can push this little lever that the shaft would hit when it gets to that side. And I can do like that and open and close it, open and close it. And the same for this one, identical, facing the other way. And I can open and close it, open and close it. You hear that one clicking? The other one wasn't even clicking. Not making an audible click anyway. So, how do you test these? Well, I've turned the power off to my pool, and as I teach you all, even pull the, uh, even though this is a low voltage side down here, just go ahead and pull the power if you have a power disconnect like I do there. That's the safest thing to do. Take a multimeter. In this case, this multimeter, and a lot of them like this, has a mode for continuity check see that continuity check right there that's what that symbol uh, means right there and it means audible and it means you're going to do a continuity check and so what that means on your multimeter is that when you cross the <clears throat> electrodes contact points it'll make an audible sound Let's see if I can do this with one hand I'm going to show you how to test the switches hear the sound that means there's continuity it's a loop 
in other words a little bit of voltage is coming out of one side going to the other for the continuity mode and it zeroes out on here too so what we want to do is we want to test to see if we can get both open and closed contacts here and let me again no surprise to you that watch this channel I don't have a tripod so punching this between my uh, legs here I'm going to put an electrode on each side of this one on each end of the switch a little easier to and hear how it's closed contact it should be open actually right now and it's doing nothing That loose connection is me moving my now contrast that to the other side so it should be open close open close open close if i contrast that to the other side and you see that it's a closed contact it's silent when i switch that so you know what that means this micro switch is working. This micro switch is not. You can get these micro switches online and you can order them up on eBay. I'll try to put a part number in there. I've got some in my pocket because you, you generally can order a handful of them at a time. Five to ten or something like that. Now I can tell something additional in here. See this micro switch right here with the orange dot? This is the same one. This micro switch right here has been replaced by me earlier because it has that orange. So, in other words, the micro switch that I already replaced has gone out again. So I'm going to replace that and we're going to bolt it up and we're going to get it back in order. But here's how you do that. You align it the same exact way, and there's a hole right there for that screw. You slide these spade terminals off, and you put them on the new one. The same ones. That middle one's empty in my configuration. And that's how you do that. Once you do all this, you should be back in business. And um, I'll be back once we're all back together. All right, we should be back in business. Time will tell, but that's how I have fixed it before and how I have likely fixed it again. We'll put the four screws back in here. We'll put the cover back on. We'll put the handle back in the direction it was, and we'll make sure and double check that before we put this to the top or bottom, that everything's in sync with the spa. If it gets out of sync, you just flip that the opposite direction and it'll flip the valve to the opposite one. All right, that concludes this video for how to fix your Pentair, Compool, many other brands actuator. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it.